Hi guys, how are you? Hi A here. And today I wanted to, to talk about um, serum and why I think it's a good uh, solution for synthesis inside Renoise. And what I mean solution, uh, I mean uh, like using a powerful synthesizer, synthesizer and being able to, to access all of the functionality of this device and get a um, complex modulation and being able to automate all of that in Renoise and unlike unlike uh, other synthesizers out there like Harmor which I really really like uh, you need to to use the instrument automation device to be able to access the BSD and you need to type in the the parameter you're looking for in order to to automate it and serum simplifies a lot of that because it has macro functionality integrated inside the the sync and for instance let's open up serum if i wanted to I don't know to control the wave table position in the first oscillator. I just come here to the first macro, drag and drop this, uh, set the, the limits, and then move. And let's change it. And I'm changing the the waveform. It's really simple. simple and what I like about it is that I can route this uh, macro to wherever the place I want and set my limits and after I'm done building the sound I can just go here and for instance this instrument automation and I just need to type macro 1 there's no no complication about it and you have four of these macros so you have unlimited control also you can do the same with LFOs and envelopes inside this and you have constant and quick access to a lot of the, of the parameters you're going to control by using these four macros and then quickly access them uh, using the metal device instrument automation and I think that that's what I'm, I like using Serum inside Reno and what I that's what I think is a, a good alternative, uh, especially uh, for a BST that has its own rent-to-own special plan, which is thing kind of cool. Hammer doesn't have that special plan, and also I like to show you a sound. I like to to show you a sound that I really like, guys. Uh, I don't know if you remember one of my first videos, a sound that I leaked, uh, that I made trying to replicate the hard sync effect in a, in a lot of dusted leads, and I kind of replicated it using Serum. I'm going to show you how I made the sound in Serum, it's really simple. Basically, use a sine a oscillator in the first oscillator, then load a second sine oscillator in a sine waveform in the oscillator number two, and all of these are the warp modes of Serum. They are really complex. You, you can do frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, or even read modulation coming from this oscillator or, or this but this video is not going to be about serum on the synthesis capabilities they are pretty well known among producers but i just want to show you the, the corrupt aspect of this sound and just need to uh, select the sync there are three modes this is the hard the hard mode uh, route an lfo with a fast uh, shape It sounds like this right now. And this 
Now, what we need to do in order to, to turn this in what I just showed you guys is to crown the shit out of it with distortion. basically uh, keep adding effects I like to to run this through through a filter not any fancy filtering basically low pass with the same elbow shape oh I forgot to mention also bring the face down to zero and the randomness of the face so put it to zero we don't want any type of uh, random facing with the sound you notice that if i decrease the LFO speed it kind of like changes That's it. Um, hope you find this helpful. And if you're looking for a synthesis solution to for Renoise, you know Renoise da, does not come out with a built-in synthesizer, and it has a sampler that is really powerful. But if you want to explore more and have more options, I think Serum is going to be a perfect solution, special for for the modulation system that it has is pretty effective and, and pretty advanced so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, leave a comment below type 8